Hello! So today I thought I would do a video around a no spend challenge year. Now this is going to be the first in like a series of videos that I want to do. Um, and yeah, basically my situation is that I am... What's going on with my hair? <laughs> um, is that I am living in a community that's been set up for people with developmental disabilities. I am studying here as well. And it's kind of like volunteering, but technically it's not volunteering. It's like the practical hours to go with my study component. And um, yeah, so I don't get paid anything. I don't have a salary of any kind. I have all my basic needs covered. So like food, accommodation, the cost of actually studying and doing the program, health insurance and like bills, all this is kind of covered. And then each month I get a stipend of $174. So I wanted to kind of do an experiment to see how much of that $174 I could save each month to put into my savings. So I have a savings account that I moved here with that I've, you know, been saving since I was really young. And um, I'm not going to be touching any of that money. I'm only going to be working from that $174 that I'm getting as a stipend. But I did kind of want to document yeah how I work with that money so I kind of moved here with $250 no just over $200 that I can work with and so far I have spent $74 of that money this month um and I have got my stipend check but I haven't touched the stipend check I've just spent money that was already mine and yeah basically I spent more than I wanted to but I knew I was going to be spending a lot more just because I just moved here I had a friend come and visit me so that always costs a bit of money when you go out to like lunch or something like this I also had to get some supplies to start college or like start my studies and then I also bought avocado oil for my hair and that was like my biggest expense at $13 <laughs> um yeah so basically I have around $45 maybe a bit more in cash I have $100 left out of the money that I brought with me, which this is my TD American Bank account card that also has my savings attached to it. Um, so this is the money that I brought with me. And then I have this bank account from this company, which is called KeyBank, which is a local bank that has my stipend checks going, of, going into it, which has $174 in it currently. And yeah, then that's all the money I have. I also get $80 vacation money each month, but I cannot touch that until I decide to go on vacation and that won't be until towards the end of the year. So basically it's $174 that I work with each month and I wanted to document slash bring people on this journey and yeah, just talk about how I go each month with really just getting what I necessity, like what I really, really need. Um, and yeah, just seeing what my spending habits are like because this is a perfect opportunity and a great environment to do that where all the necessities are already covered and looked after for you. So yeah, I mean, this is a really quick video, but I just wanted to introduce this and then I will hopefully get a video out at the end of each month talking about how I went each month. So yeah, this month was too much spending but an expected spend because it's me just moving to a new country because I needed to get some new things. And next month we're gonna be a lot stricter. I'm hoping for like under $50 or under $40. So yeah, if you have any questions or would like to join me, like comment in the comment section because that's the funnest part of YouTube really is getting to interact with people who you don't know in real life. So yeah, alrighty. Thanks for watching, see you later.